Good evening everyone. The cold front didn't stop the top athletes in the UP track and field finals from finishing in front of the pack. To Fliver Field we go for the girls action. Starting in Division 1, there was a very good chance Marquette would break the UP record in a 3200 relay. The better question was by how much. The end result, 9 minutes, 30.25 seconds, nearly 17 seconds better than the previous mark. And there is your quartet. Amber Hubner, Shayla Hubner, Lindsay Rudden, Holly Blowers, and they also broke the 1600 record. Chelsea Joxakai met started her day well, winning the long jump 16 feet 6 inches. Lindsay Collins of Escanaba gets the Eskimos 10 points in the 800 relay. And now in the 800, it is Lindsay Rudden winning. Gee, she's pretty good at that, isn't she? Now we move ahead to the relay, and Chelsea Jocks went from third to first in about 20 meters. She also had a perfect day with wins in the 100 and 200 dashes. The 800 run, that was the Hubner sisters, and one and three with Shayla the older finishing first. In the hurdles, the 300s, a slight upset as Marquette's Hannah Detmers gets past Sonny Martina of Escanaba. And on the results, after Lindsay Rudden wins another race. This would be the 800, which she also set another UP record. Marquette's won by, with 154 points. Calumet second, and Sault Ste. Marie was third. To Division Two, Ishpeming trying to follow Marquette's lead by winning the 3200 relay. Cora Swanson gets the baton in the lead as the anchor, and she keeps it to win in a minute a time of 10 minutes, 44.75 seconds. The 100 hurdles. Hancock's Mary Jarvis has been very consistent all season, 16.76 seconds. She was also first in the 300 hurdles. Jarvis quickly makes the transition to the 100 dash, but this is West Iron County's Emmy Keener's territory, 13.19 seconds, and she wasn't done. Westwood's Katie Edlamacki, two of the three distance races in this division, the 1600 and 3200, third in the 800. The Hematites won four, three of the four relays. Jessica Spencer, the victorious 400, in just over 53 seconds. Lots and lots of blue in the 400 dash. Western County went 1-2-3 with Emmy Keener winning. She also won the 200 dash and anchored the 1600 meter relay for a perfect day. But the Hematites won three field events. Marissa Minel, the shot put in discus. Nazi Thomas, the long jump. And Ishpeming goes home with the first place trophy with 151 points. Western County a strong second. And Manistique edged Westwood for third. To Division Three. Again, we start with the 3200 relay, but this time the pattern would not be the same. Marissa Ackerman of Munising would bring home the victory for the orange and black in 10 minutes, 45.15 seconds, better known as about a half a second slower than Ishpeming. Valerie Rowe of Bessemer started off well, 16.51 seconds in the 100 hurdles, and she's going to be back later for more victories. Taylor Bryant fell earlier. Well, she wins this one in the 100 by 1 100th of a second over Stevenson's Haley Truitt. Newberry also good in the distance runs thanks to Natalie Beaulieu. She won the 1600 and captured the 800 and was second behind Cedarville's Emma Bond in the 3200. Five minutes 23.45 in the 1600. Now Bryant's back once again anchoring the 400 relay, but this time Lakeland and Hubble. Sarah Audette hit the line in just after under 54 seconds. I think that's Sarah. Audette set a pole vault record of 10 feet one quarter inch. Paige Blake of Antonagan won the 400 dash and the long jump, and she had help from Lori Wardinsky. But Newberry hangs on to win the championship by six points, 64 to 58. Brimley was second, thanks to wins in the shot put and discus by Alyssa Hyvernan, and a second and third in the same events by Arla Ashambo. Antonagan and Lakeland and Hubble tied for third place. There's Miss Rowe again. She was busy today. Three wins. On the boys' results, Marquette won Division One, Ishpeming Division Two, and Munising Division Three. We will have full recaps of those victories on tomorrow night's Late News. Division 1 Softball Districts, Marquette, Traverse City Central, and Hannah Bolinski is going to make a very nice over-the-shoulder catch to get things going for the Redettes defense. Chelsea Wiggins, whoosh, strikes out Sydney Clavon, and Marquette would be in good shape. Now we get on the scoreboard when Emily Lamora will hit the single to right field. Chelsea Wiggins and Lindsay Riba score in the play to give Marquette a 2-0 lead. Marquette won this game 6-1. They met Alpina in the district final. 
trailed 4-1, came back to win 6-5, so they get the district title and travel to Saginaw next week for the regional. Division 2 softball on the scoreboard. Escanaba wins the district title 4-0 over Petoskey thanks to home runs by Becca Puron and Michelle Lefebvre, and they rallied to get the district title 7-6 over Sheboygan. District 3. Very cold and windy in Nagani. Miners taking on Gladstone. Oh, no, you don't want to do that with Lexi Haga still batting. Heads up. Oh, good thing that fence is flexible. A solo home run give Gladstone a 1-0 lead. Miners just could not get the offense going in this one. And Gladstone won the district final over, Mar er, over Nagani by the score of 10-0. Now we switch over to baseball. Go back to District 1, Marquette, taking on Traverse City Central first inning. Brandon Lotterman's going to make the nice throw for the out at first on the bunt by Jordan Ruckel. Le Logan Briggs moved the second, and that is going to set up Cooper Marshall, who finds the fence with this one, and that's going to bring Briggs around the score, and they scored three more times to lead 4 nothing. Bottom of the first, Riley Lynch a base hit the right field. Brendan, Brendan Higby would dash home, and after some wild and crazy throws, Marquette's going to get another run in the first inning as the ball will bounce away as Lynch is running toward third. But Marquette would not be able to catch up. Traverse City Central won 8-6, and TC West won the district final over Central 13-3. Division 2, Escanaba, Petoskey, second inning. Sean Bissell, Escanaba's catcher. Snap, throw to first, and Craig Clark is, nah, he's not safe. The coach did say, get back, and he didn't get back fast enough. Brandon Punzel strikes out Parker Munley, and Petoskey had a 1-0 lead. It was a great pitcher's duel, and Petoskey just had a little bit better. Petoskey beat Escanaba 2-1. Petoskey beat Sault Ste. Marie in the district final 6-3. Division 3, Nagani, and, or excuse me, not Naga, at Nagani, Gladstone and Houghton. Jake Peterson, the base hit in the top of the second inning. Lucas Weiner will dash home to make it a 3-0 lead for the Braves. And the Braves go on to win by the score of 7-2, so they capture the district title. And don't forget, all kinds of information <laughs> and a whole lot more once I get there will be on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. Sounds like a plan, Mike. Yes, Thank it you. does.